You see, Mr. Uh, Mr. My name is Audie Fox. Just call me Mr. Fox. Uh, Mr. Fox, uh, you see, before we get up to where Andy is, I thought I'd send to you some of the things so you'd know, you see. Of course you understand, Mr. Jones, that as an efficiency expert, I must have all the details. But as time goes on, I will no doubt familiarize myself with the conditions surrounding your business. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, you see, uh, the first thing, we come up here from Atlanta, Georgia, and uh, started in this here taxi cab business. Oh, yes. And do you find it a profitable business? Yeah, I find, uh, oh, you mean, uh, you mean is it making any money? That's it. Are you making any profit at the present time? Well, we are taking in some money, but we ain't got nothing to show for it. Well, Mr. Jones, that's just where I come in. You see, my business as an efficiency expert enables me to make the necessary corrections in your business and put you on a money-making basis. Well, first, I better tell you, though, that Andy is the president of the company, and sometimes he get mad if you cross him up, you see, so you kind of got to look out for Andy. Mr. Jones, I have found that in my wide experience as efficiency expert, sometimes there was disregard the feeling of some of the firm and go ahead with determination to make the corrections and prove to the officers of the company that they are deriving a great benefit from the various new systems that I install. In the stall, you say? Yes, in stall. What stall? You know, we ain't got no horses if you had taxi cab coming. You misconstrued my last remark. You don't mean to tell me. I will be glad to go over the situation with the president of your company, and I want you to know, Mr. Jones, that it is through sheer luck that I am able to accept this assignment. Mm-hmm. It so happened that I came to Chicago from Pittsburgh to take on the work of correcting a big manufacturing plant. Mm-hmm. But unfortunately, before I could reach the scene of action, it became necessary for this firm to file bankruptcy proceedings. Well, now, uh, Mr. Fox, uh, here we is at the taxi cab headquarters. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, you can look right through the window there. There's Andy asleep. See him there with his feet on the desk asleep? Well, where is the president of the company? That's him. Oh, yes. The president is asleep. Mm-hmm. Well, let us enter, and after I have a talk with your president, we can get together on a salary arrangement a little later. Well, uh, walk right in, Miss Fox. You can't wake him up unless you shake him. When he sleeps, he don't mess with it. What time does he want to be called? I'll shake him now. Andy. Andy, wake up, wake up. Hello? You ain't answering the telephone, this here is me. What are you doing coming in here and wake me up like this? Andy, this here is Mr. Fox. Uh, this here is Andy Brown, the president of the company. Mr. Brown, it is indeed a pleasure. Yes, sir, yes, sir. I was glad to see you. You want a taxi cab? Well, Mr. Brown, that shows that you are alert to the fact of serving the public as quickly as possible. But it so happens that I am the efficiency expert that Mr. Jones talked to you about. You is the efficient what? No, no, Andy, listen. This here is the gentleman that I talked to you about, remember? Oh. Wake up now, Andy. You are still asleep. Look at you now. Open your eyes. This here is the gentleman that takes the business and puts it on the business basis. You see, don't you remember me telling you about him down the large hall where I met him? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. I beg to apologize. Sit down, sit down. Amos, where is that other chair that we had? He ain't never had no other chair. It's all right, gentlemen. It's all right. I'll sit here on the desk. Mm -hmm. Mr. Brown, your business associate here informs me that you are in need of a, an efficiency expert. I am the efficiency expert that you need. Now, wait a minute, Mr. Fox. Uh, here, 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 here's a box here. Sit right down on this box over right here. Oh, yeah. You as a gentleman, huh? Now, go right ahead, Mr. Fox, and ask Andy anything you want to ask him. If he don't know it, I'll try to tell you the best I can. If who don't know it? There ain't nothing around here that I don't know. Now, get that in your head. Well, gentlemen, let there be no dissension. Let there be no hurt, Miss Fox. Shut up, shut up. Now, Mr. Brown, you are in the taxi cab industry. You are catering to the public. Am I correct? Amos ain't told you nothing like that, is he? No, the only thing I told him was... Shut up, shut up, Amos. Well, now, gentlemen, I just want to ask you a few questions. You are in the taxi cab business, serving the public in that capacity. Oh, yes, sir, we done that. I don't remember when it was, but we done it. 
Now, if I come into this business, I will no doubt be able to install a few systems which will enable you to conserve your energy, eliminate unnecessary expenditures, and get what you might call a dormant business on the basis of a growing business. A growing business? It's almost gone now. Shut up, shut up. I ain't gonna do it. Go ahead, Mr. Wolf. I mean, uh, Mr. Fox. Mr. Brown, I can see the glance that you could use an efficiency man. And I would be glad to look over the situation here now and give you my frank opinion as to whether or not it would be an unnecessary expenditure to bring me into the company. Oh, I agree with you there, all right. Uh, Mr. Fox, uh, uh, you want to look at the book? Wait a minute around here. Wait a minute. Don't holler about the book. I was keeping the book. Oh, I know you keep them. I just ask him if he won't look at them. That's all I see. Well, if the president has no objection, I would like to glance at the journal and the ledger. You want to glance at what? I say I would like to look at your book if you have no objection and see what system you are using. I think uh, Mr. Fox ought to come in and see what he could do with the company. He might be able to twist it around so that we make some money out of the thing. Well, uh, Mr. Fox, in case you start to work, uh, what do you do? Yeah, seeing that the end, Mr. Fox. Well, I analyze your business, get right to the bottom of each detail. You see there? There's something right there if you, if you, if you do that. Let him see the book, Sandy. Well, here's the book. I just sort of keep these in the rough, you see. I got a better one, better set than this at home under the bed. Oh, yeah. This is your book, huh? The Fresh Air Taxi Cab Company Incorporated of America. Andrew Brown, President. Nice title page you have. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. You see, I worked on the books day and night myself. Amos is the assistant bookkeeper, but uh, I don't let him mess with nothing. Mr. Brown, what are these figures you have in the front of the book here? What figures is that, you mean? These figures right here. Four million, six million, seven million. Here's one figure here. Nine billion, nine hundred million. What are these figures? How did they get in that book? That's your own handwriting. You put them in there yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. I remember now. One day I got hold of a new pencil, and I was trying it out on that page. Mm. Now, on the next page here... Which is the debit side of the ledger? You mean the inside or the outside? Is this your monthly balance? You ain't got no balance. These books are in pretty bad shape, aren't they, Mr. Brown? I can't get heads or tails out of this. Why, this doesn't make sense. Amos, has you been fooling with them books again? I ain't been messing with no books. Yes, you is too. You've been messing with those don't books. Don't try to tell me yes, I ain't touched the books. You is the one that's been messing with them. You put all that stuff in that yourself and you know you did.